Super Hero Hero Academy. So. So. After that is being said, libations to the ancestors. So, sitting here again, as usual, in videos after I, after I, I'm, I'm almost finished getting everything the studio together, so I'm going to be getting up off my ass and starting start to move around a little bit. Showing, showing some punching and kicking and some breathing in. But right now, five o'clock in the morning, I'm just talking. What am I talking about this morning? We don't say morning in the church because we're not in morning in the morning. We call this the break of day, or, or some other way to say today at sun rise or whatever is happening. You're not morning anyway. Yes, I'm going to start working on making a movie and that movie will be called Heroes in the Hood figure that one out but the ultimate goal is to start the first super hero hero Academy. So I know a lot of people be like, man, it's gonna be some comic book cosplay, Comic Con. Well, I have a friend that actually started his own comic book. You understand? So that's him right there. That's actually him so he has I uh, know people with comic books and stuff Bagua Joe is how he become to know and no I am not talking with camera up oh, I am not talking about um, not really Comic-Con and all that. Now, of course, the superhero would be someone that want to get, usually get dressed up in a costume. So, from that point of view, maybe it'll be like Comic-Con. And we probably got parties and stuff like that. But no. There is a science developed by... Professor B is called Mel Om D N A T A T. D N A stands for D 
deep neural access. And chi a chi simply means time achievement. So time achievement when translated into Chinese will be Gong Fu. So like I said, I didn't want to just open up another Gong Fu school, you know. And it's not going to be another Gong Fu school because like I said, it's called the Super Shiro Hero Academy. So what do I mean by super? Well, I'm sure we've all seen people who we believe are super, like Iron Mike Tyson and, you understand, and people like that, but they must not be super because after a while, they lose their powers with age and things like that. So would a super being be able to continue to be super into old age? Ah, that's the point. There's never been an academy, a place where people can go and practice. You know, that's what you practice. Let's be super, you understand? Not at whatever you do, you understand? You, you might be a brainiac. You might be physically strong or something like that. So I would suspect that the first um, super beings, because not everybody would want to be a hero, but that's what I'm focusing on. But the academy will train super beings. So as I said before, if you're a janitor, you'd be a super janitor. You'd be like the head of your class and the top of the line and you know, you'd be running the business as opposed to being the lowest, you know. But I'm thinking a way, way higher more than that. Way, way higher more than that. Um, for instance, I was thinking earlier, I'm always thinking earlier, what if I taught you how to shoot x-rays, or I mean uh, lasers out of your eyeballs, right? So, what do you think would happen? Because remember, this is not Comic-Con, it's not comic books, it's not movies, it's not none of that. I am talking reality. If I taught you a technique where you can shoot lasers out of your eyes, what do you think would happen? Well, first of all, just like Kung Fu, if you knew the technique and you were able to draw in or focus enough electricity with behind your eyes or in your brain, wherever it would be at concentrating before it shoots out your eyes, you would probably burn up everything in your head and before it even gets to your eyeballs, you understand? So, point being that there that in the real world there must be a practice that would develop the eyes to the point of being able to um, withstand a laser being shot out of them. Another example I see in the movies is like when these guys get like a steel, you know, a super prosthetic, you know, you have a super arm, right? Okay, just, the arm is really, really stupid strong, you know. But in the movies, they're picking up cars and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, in reality, you they have super arms. But if you try to pick up a car, the arm is still connected to the rest of your, unless they put metal through it, like, like Wolverine put metal through your every part, every bone in your body where now the weight, that this arm could pick up is distributed, da 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 you know what I'm saying? So in the real world, so I, I just want you to understand that I overstand what I'm saying when I'm saying we're going to have the first superheroes. Um, 
So last point is that the first group will probably be more in the technical because they have some fantastic, super technical stuff. And I'll get into all that another time. But for right now, I'm out. Peace. I'm going to be getting up off my ass soon and starting to do some, some stuff, some super stuff for old man Button.